this is my uh, one of my Simpson model 8455 uh, telephone line tester meters this one I modified so that instead of taking the normal number 455 or NEDA201 45 volt battery that it's designed to take originally, it would uh, instead take a um, five uh, regular 9 volt batteries, which is also less than half the cost of having to buy one of these new because everybody don't doesn't make, they don't make these anymore, and uh, it's very very hard to find them. And when you can, they're about 30 bucks a piece at least. Uh, so the modification I made is uh, this. There's this little nub inside the case. This is my other one that I haven't had a chance to modify yet because one of the screws sheared off. And uh, so I need to replace the screw. Also, this is a newer Simpson Teledata. It's an 8455 made uh, in 1991. And this is an 8455L2, made in about 1985, judging by the date codes on the components. These are a lot newer than they look, and Simpson actually still make these. But for a lot more than I got these, because these I got for free, because they're getting thrown out. <coughs> uh, anyways, so the, so the modification was grinding that nub down, because the um, that's also the uh, stack of uh, carbon zinc cells that uh, is inside one of these because one of these the battery was stuck in it and I had to physically cut the battery up in order to get it out so uh, but anyways because the uh, stack of uh, 9 volts which is just uh, a row of 2 and then a row, row of 3 <coughs> if you've ever chained uh, 9 volt batteries together you'll know how the technique is or if you've ever seen it done uh, so but that is about an eighth of an inch longer than one of those so it won't fit so you have to so, so uh, had to grind a bit of the uh, stub off and then because this the, the uh, 45 volt battery snaps are a bit bigger than 9 volt battery snaps what I had to do was cut the original snaps off and then cut open a uh, or cut up a, a 9 volt battery holder and uh, splice that on and after that it works and uh, so the uh, this is this is the uh, what the 8455 will actually do. What it is is it's a high operating potential resistance meter so that it can detect um, resistance faults that vary with the applied potential because with a normal meter <coughs> or with your normal typical multimeter nowadays the um, resistance test only operates on a couple vol on a couple volts. And so at that you could have a fault that would not be detectable with one because it would read at that potential a few million ohms or more. And uh, whereas with 45 volts that this will use, uh, or close to that, it will, uh, it could be a few thousand ohms or more. So uh, the way this works is that if you uh, connect these together, this is just a simple short circuit test put it together and turn it on you can see that you get pretty close to full scale deflection although it does need a bit of adjustment so there's a nice big uh, zeroing knob on the front and when it's off because it's designed for telephone testing that bottom scale which is kind of hard to see at least on this screen of uh, it'll read from 0 volts DC to 100 volts DC and if you were to take this and normally you would not do this with a resistance meter, but if I connect it to the uh, 12 volt bus bars for the uh, for my uh, off grid uh, solar farm, you can see that it reads about 14 volts. Not super accurate, but it isn't designed normally for reading potentials that low. <coughs> so, and then there's also a uh, divide by 10 button down here, and for uh, if you're doing a potential test. For testing if there's been a reverse polarity, it's got a polarity reversal switch. <coughs> and the same thing on this one, although this one isn't quite as, uh, like this one's got a dinged up case, and there was stuff written inside the case, because I've got the cases for both of them right there. Uh, this one is a lot cleaner, but both of these only have three screws, so I think what happened is that the place was threatened is that I got these from, because one of them didn't have the battery in it, it was just loose in the bag. 
uh, that they were trying to get the things operating and they couldn't find these so they pretty much sat in the shelf until they were going to get checked and I came and got most of the stuff that they were throwing out. <clears throat> so, one of the more obscure Simpson products, although like everything Simpson, it's very high quality and it'll outlive you. And that's just some lamps that I had for, because uh, there's a snowstorm and these are just inverter safe lamps that I have down here pre-staged in case the electricity goes up. <clears throat> 